1996, 97, 98, uh, by then the, there were few slums who were in Mungano process. And we joined Mungano in early 96 in Soweto and Kamae because we had issues. And by then there was no saving. The, the issues there was fighting against eviction. Kamae, uh, they, they, were bit, they were to be affected like Soweto. So we, we joined her by then. And uh, the movement of Mungano other said that it is Mungeki. They said we are Mungeki, uh, which was very much, uh, it, it, it was terrifying. Mungeki, a group of young men, they were doing bad things. So when they contradicted Mungeke, Mungano, people could not really differentiate between Mungeke and Mungano. Mm -hmm. So we had to tell them we are fighting for our, for our villages not to be demolished or uh, to be evicted. So that's when they say, OK, we can join hearts. And by then we had no resources. So we had to sacrifice ourselves, if it to go to the meeting to share moyo, we had, if it is one person who does not have fear, we have to pay for her or him, and we go to participate the meeting. And the major issue was to fight against eviction. And uh, we were very strong. By then, we had readers in our slums, in each settlement there were leaders we erected them in our where i come from there were four people major people who taught me that's when i i agreed to join them one person was we nicknamed him bob malin bob malin the other one is albert rodenio the other one is telesia mokami the mother of, the, uh, there is one federation member who is here, Leah. Her mother was so active. And uh, also there was Teresia Wanjiro. There were four focal people. And uh, that when I joined them, I had a little baby which I used to carry. They used to help me. By then it was so terrifying. If you are, no, you are Mungano, Ah, uh, but I said I will do with Mungano so that we can secure our settlements. By then in Kamae, there was a, a, a man, we nicknamed him OCS. Uh, by that time, he was killed. Before, before OCS, there was a, a young lady called Washera. Very early in the morning, I was going to Kiamumbi. I had a gunshot, very early. It was 8 p. 8, 8, 8 morning. I had a gunshot, so I had to go. And, uh, and I, I heard uh, people crying, shouting. We went there. And that time we found that Washera has been killed. He was shot here between the head. And when the time came to bury Washera, we had to carry the coffin to the PC here in Nairobi. PC left us there with the coffin, and it stayed there the whole night. Why would Because of advocating against eviction of Kamai. Uh, after that, we buried Washera. Then it came to was yes. By that time we were going to court because we had, uh, uh, we, we had to go to the court. Very early in the morning in the stage, I heard that, oh, the OCS was killed yesterday at night. We stopped going to Nairobi. We went there where the OCS was lying. We found him. And the people said, oh, it is Kanini who did this. So people had to come and find Kanini there, waiting for us to come to the court. And by that time, 
he was forced to uh, Kanili was forced to leave Kamai and go to live to Kiamumbi. It was bad by then. Uh, but that did not stop us from fighting against eviction. We fought. Uh, we buried Kemani, and by that time, others, because we were not fighting our own as a per settlement, we joined hearts as Kenya. All those slums, we joined hands. If it is Soweto having an issue, others could come. If it is Kibera having issues, we go without asking any transport and we fought until the government heard our voice because we knew by then one person cannot be heard but if we join and make noise they will, and disturb them every day they will say let hear them and that's what we used to do we shout we knocked the doors until they hear our voices. Uh, they started uh, uh, appreciating all, acknowledging us. There is Mongano in Islam. There are people who are fighting. There were other cases in other, other places they faced because the government could not accept what we were telling them to do because by then the government the government although even now it is collapsed by then it was more because by then when the slum was removed the lad could not go back to the government but one politician could grab that lad ours it there was a big politician who wanted to grab that lad we had to fight for and it came back to us and I appreciate Mungano very much because if it was a few people who are making noise and going to the offices to say the rat come back, it could not it could not have. But we joined her as Mungano in all the areas and we fought for. If we go to case with they come. Korogosha people come, Kibera people come and we are fighting for Kamae and we are fighting for Soweto. We joined her. All the Mungano members could have come to court. And that's what I see uh, Mungano strength. Because if it was not Mungano, I don't know whether there could any existence of any slum in Nairobi or elsewhere. But it is because of Mungano that slums are there. And I know that it was the first step to retain those slums. The second step is to develop those slums.